Hey guys, it's Jordan here, and I'm going to teach you the rest of Sweet Child of Mine. Hopefully, uh, it should only take another two, maybe three videos. Um, so, here it is. This is the solo. So, remember, it's an E-flat tuning, so everything is um, one step down. If you don't feel like retuning your guitar, just play it one fret down from what I say. So, when I say the 17th fret, play 16th. So, we're going to do a start up here on the 17th fret. What you do is you take the 17th fret and bend it up uh, two two steps or a full step. So that it sounds like the 19th fret. Then you play 15, 14 on the E string. Then you go 15, pull off to 14. And 15 on the B string. Then you go back to uh, 15 on the E string. Like that, you go 15, 14, then 15, pull 14, 15 on the B string, and then 14 on the B string, I mean 17 on the B string, sorry, 16 on the B string, so after you play that 16, you go back to 17 on the B string, then 14 on the E string. Like that. For that one, you go 15th fret on the B string. You go a full step bend on the 15th fret, so it sounds like the 17th fret, and bring it back down. And then 12th fret on the uh, B string. So you get and you go here, 14th fret on the G string. You go do that same bend so it's a full step. Then 12th fret on the G string. And then 11th fret to 12 pull off 11. And then 14 on the D string. See, this is what you should have. And you play with 14th on the D string. Then 11, 12, 14 on the G string. For, and then after that, after this. You have 12th fret on the B string, and then 12 again, hammer on 13, and pull off to 12, then 14 on the G string, like that. And then you hit the 14th fret on the G string again. You bend the 13th fret on the B string up so it sounds like a 15th fret. Then play regular 13th fret. And then 12th fret on the B string twice. That's the next part. 12th fret on the B, B string. A half step bend and bring it back down. And 14th fret on the G string. 15th fret bend it a full step. Full step on the E string. And you just play the 15th fret E string. And you bring it down here to the seventh fret. So let's play what what we through what we have so far. Right now, up to speed. And 
And the next part sounds like this. Like that. So you start on the seventh fret of the B shirt, and you do a half bend and bring it back down. You go to the ninth fret on the G string and play it twice. Like that. For the next one, you do that same bend on the seventh fret. You go to the ninth fret on the G string, and then a half step bend on the eighth fret G string. Twice. So you get the sound of the ninth fret. And then just the regular 8th fret G string. And 7th fret on the B string. And that bend on the 7th fret. 9th fret on the G string. And then you roll your finger over to the D string 9th fret. And do a bend half step. Like that. And bring it back to the ninth fret D string. And you play the ninth fret G string and let it ring. So this is what you have so far on that. And then it goes to this. Okay. So for the next part after you go you go to the seventh fret and do the bend. Okay. Do the eighth fret G string. Make it sound like the ninth fret twice. And then regular eighth fret. Seventh fret B string. And then you go into this little Richter thing. Um, that's the rest of the solo, and then it goes into this little trill. Then it goes into, where do we go now? Like that. Um, not, that part's not too hard. Alright, so, um... In the next lesson, I will teach you guys how to play that little Richter thing, which is like... Okay. Alright, till next time. Hope I'll hit.